you've invested thousands, maybe millions in your ICT for the initiative, but what development impact did it have? That is the question ICT for the evaluation seeks to answer. You can design your ICT for the evaluation by asking these two generic questions. What do we not know that we need to know? And how are we going to find that out? If that feels a bit too high level, then here is the design process in more detail, underpinned by six questions. What is the rationale for evaluation? For example, proving to your funder that the money was well spent. Who is the audience? For example, donor project managers. What is to be measured? What are your key indicators which may be derived from a framework or a theory of change? How are you going to measure the selected indicators and how much will project stakeholders participate in that process? When in the project life cycle will you measure? And how are evaluation results to be reported, disseminated and used? Here's a multi-stakeholder approach to ICT for the evaluation that does not assume everyone shares the same goals and does not focus only on what was meant to happen. Step one identifies the key project stakeholders. You can refer to my video on analysing ICT for the project stakeholders if you'd like more detail on that. Step two draws out the key goals that each stakeholder had for the ICT for the project. That doesn't just mean what's officially on paper, but what they actually wanted. Step three seeks to measure in some way whether or not those goals have been achieved. Step four in parallel talks with project users and others to evaluate any other impacts that are not covered by stakeholder goals. And step five can classify the project outcome. Here's one way to classify ICT for D project outcomes along a spectrum from total failure via partial failure or partial success to total success. If you'd like to know more, then take a look at the ICT for D textbook. And thank you for watching.